Good afternoon, YouTube family. This is Shirley coming to you with a summer tag. How are you guys doing? I am surviving. I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the tag. I actually screenshotted it and completely forgot the name of it and all. And I still don't have the name of the tag, so I'm going to just call it. Okay, it's called the Sparkling Summer Tag. Um. I don't follow this person that has this tag. Her name is Laura. I thought it was a cute tag, so I picked it up. The link will be somewhere down below, and obviously somebody else created the tag, so on and so forth. But it's 12 questions. I'll have those questions down below if you wanted to participate. Everyone is welcome to go ahead and do the tag. Just let me know that you did so that I can go ahead and watch it as well. Number one. Uh, the go-to uh, the go-to sunglasses this year. My go-to sunglasses were the first sets that I actually wore. Um, top off like in the beginning when the summer actually started. These are the cat eyes that I got, and I just fell in love with these, and um, that's what I've been wearing all summer long. So that's my favorite. Uh, sunglasses my go-to sunscreen is actually the, the that pink bottle that's for the kids that I actually bought for the kids but don't normally have time to put sunscreen on myself so when I'm done making sure they have their sunscreen on 30 minutes before leaving the house I have my I use theirs and um, it's the I, I think it's the copper sunscreen it's the only spray bottle which now I found out is quite dangerous and it does have an expiration to it um, it um, it's uh, it's a very unique it's a spray bottle if you just spray it on the sunscreen so there you go <laughs> number three pool or beach now this year it's been more pool than beach and it's because of all of the um, the beaches out here in South Florida right now are very um, the riptides are very strong normally for uh, June and July and um, even though the hurricanes haven't really come directly to us but you can actually see how uh, we lost a lot of sand and, and um, the waters are, are, are mic has a mixture of the deep ocean waters. So now there's like the jellyfishes out here. And they got the sharks out now. And nobody could really be out there when it's that type of magnitude of creatures um, that's on the shore side. And um, we've been doing pools. Um, if you are follow me on Snapchat, you guys know I've done a thousand different pools. I took them to Volcano Bay this year in Orlando, Florida, which they had a blast. I had a blast. And we had a couple of pool parties that we also enjoyed. And also the park has uh, pool parks, uh, water parks that you enjoy uh, for the summer as well. Number four, bikini, tuckini, and one piece. I don't know what a tuckini is, but my favorite outfit, I'll find it on Instagram. Hopefully I have it there. Uh, it's a super cute... It was a nice orange red one piece unit that I really fell in love with. There, I actually worked for Volcano Bay. Um, I really, really enjoyed this piece. I don't think you guys could see it, which is a bummer. But it has, it was comfortable wearing all day. I was there all day long, and it was just a very nice, comfortable uh, outfit to wear. Uh, around running around getting the children things of that nature so it was a definite uh, plus to have all right number five baseball hat or a sun hat well my head is it's a pretty big head so any everything is hard to fit even certain wig units so it has to be big friend a uh, big head friendly and I have baseball hats that I've been wearing for the summer because I went to the game, I went to a couple of the heat games, and I would wear that hat. You guys saw it on Instagram a couple of times. And I definitely would do a, a basketball hat. Number six, does your skin burn or tan? I've never attempted either or. Um, I would say tan, because we do have different complexions, and you could tell the difference when you um, take your bathing suits off or other things, and you could just see the 
the tan. Number seven, most used summer lip product. It is this lip gloss that I will definitely, it's this lip gloss, don't, no, not the one that I have on. It's this beautiful coral from ColourPop. It's this nice orange color that I've been wearing all summer long. I'll definitely have it in my favorite so you guys could have a nice uh, look for it because I don't know where it is right now. Favorite summer scent. My favorite summer scent is going to be, um, my favorite summer scent is, it's in my favorites too, Giovanni. So it is this fragrance that is an everyday usage at this point that I fell in love with because it's very fresh, very summery, and it's like something that is, uh, very subtle and soft to wear. My favorite summer drink has been the Pina Colada traditional regular strawberry daiquiris that I make from at home. So whenever there was like a Memorial Day or 4th of July, when we was grilling in the back, I would make the drinks and everybody would love those drinks. Uh, number 10, favorite summer snack or fruit. Uh, I've been still, uh, my favorite summer snack has been s'mores. I'm guilty. I've been having a s'more every day, which is not healthy at all. And I've just been in, in love with s'mores. So I make those now, not, not on the grill, in the toaster now. And um, it's just a nice delight to have in the evening. A uh, favorite um, memory from last summer. Last summer, 2018. Oh, we did this beautiful resort that had a washer and dryer, full kitchen, fully stocked. I dined at a, a, a screen in area where you could sit outside, a living room master bedroom beautiful tub in the master bathroom and that if you see my vlog that I have last year that was the highlight because it was just so huge and that was in Orlando Florida and that was just remarkable we haven't never been in a, a, a resort that was so big and wide and spacious for a family of five Number 12, the last one, what are you looking forward to this summer or, or or going anywhere? I've already did all of my trips. I went to New York for graduation and I already went to Orlando a couple of weeks ago. I'm done I'm getting ready for back to school. All my money is gone. So I really enjoyed Volcano Bay. It was the first time for us to go there since they took away Wet n Wild. I normally just go to Wet n Wild. Or we'll, last year, for an example, we did the resort that already had like a lazy river and all of the water features where we didn't have to really go outside the resort but this year we definitely did a resort and volcano bay and the best part was that you had access to volcano bay an hour prior to the regular uh time opening for regular guests to come in so when you came in an hour early you were able to get really amazing pictures right in front of the volcano without other people being there so that is the last uh question I hope you guys are enjoying the summer. I hope you guys participate with this summer tag. I enjoyed uh, all of the questions and uh, I hope you guys try to do it. Let me know if you are so that I could go ahead and watch and you guys continue on being a blessing to others and I'll talk to you guys very soon.